Hey folks, Ashley AllThingsIndustry.com and what I wanted to show you today was um, maxillomandibular fixation, I MMF or IMF, intermaxillofacial uh, fixation with uh, Eric Archwars. We're going to be using Eric Archwars. This is sort of the final result before we uh, fish loop them together. We have almost every tooth will be engaged in the arch. Yeah, on the practice models we didn't. So the Eric Archwars, um, this would happen, we would be using this if you had a mandibular fracture. Uh, symphyseal, parasymphyseal, uh, body of the ramus, angle of the ramus, subcondylar. So um, we're using 26 gauge wire and one of the critical things is to make sure that placing the lugs apically so when you go to use your uh, fish loop to fixate it, fix the, fixate the jaw, tie the wire of the jaw shut, it's not going to move. Another point is to make sure that after you've place your arch bars to make sure that it's not moving. Now you can do this under local anesthesia, commonly done under um, conscious sedation, but there are a number of ways. And there's a few other videos I have up using IV loops or also uh, embrasure loops and bridle wires. So uh, we already have this done. We're going to start. We're going to leave the maxilla and we're going to show you start to finish with the mandibular arch. I just need to remove the arch bar. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we were cast with our the holes made, and we go to fit on the the arch bar. Like I said, we typically will go to I guess first molar it makes it a little bit easier. In this case, we're going to go to the second molar because I don't have clippers. And one of the things, uh, so we we fit in our bar, mark it, cut it, and always remember that the lugs these are called the lugs have to be facing apically, or you won't be able to. Close it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take, we have 26 gauge wire and we're just going to make, do it around. loop around the sevens. Of course we'll be doing this with uh, Hagar forceps. Um, I have these different types of forceps at home. We're just going to do that, and what we're going to do with this is essentially have it such that we, when we place the arch bar, it's going to be ready. We're going to place a few of these, and we'll get more. So that's kind of what I did there. Through the embrasures around the lingual of uh, your most posterior tooth, and then just tie it off light, and then we're going to take our arch bar and put it through there. Okay, so we've got a few wires uh, put in here. They're left loose. One of the thing I already poked myself, so that's one of the key things. Uh, especially we're doing with this with a lot of hardware is just to make sure some folks double glove make sure you uh, it's very easy to poke yourself so just be careful so what I typically do and this is what I've been taught and it could be wrong I try to look but there's not really a specific technique I try to bend the wires so these loops so they look like this so you can slide the, the arch bar right through typically the distal up I'll show you why in a sec I'm going to take our pre-measured arch bar, pre-measured arch bar, oh, see I almost put it upside down, so make sure that the the lugs are facing apically, put that through there, that through there, and there are little techniques, and you try to do it as best as possible, but sometimes when you're doing this clinically it's very difficult. It's nice to have two folks, two clinicians doing this. So what you try to do is have this distal wire come over the posterior part of this arch bar, but it doesn't always work. So what we do now is we're just going to tie this off. Make sure it's seated against the tooth, and start with that. And just leave it. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go around, and the reason why, I mean, you can either go front to back, you can either go anterior, posterior, or all the way around. But what the last thing you want is to have tighten this, 
tighten it at the posterior, say I would tighten this other side, and then this is all loose, and then you've got nowhere to put it. So let's go here. I've got these snazzy uh, speed forceps. So we try to adapt this also as well. I can't find regular Hagar forceps around the house. There go. Don't want to break the wire. And we're just going all the way around. Making sure it's nicely adapted. You can do this with a cast. Tough, tough to do that inch orally. One of the key things I may not be doing it is to try to keep the lugs, these clear of any wire and that will allow you, that will help you when you go to that's right it will help you when you go to put your fish loops around to put it down, okay so there's that that's the start, now the next stage would be start see how this is nice and tight um, to now start play. I mean, I could have actually put in one here, then gone all the way around, but we'll do that. I'm happy with that. So the next stage is now I'm going to put a couple more, and then we're going to um, cut these and then make rosettes. Okay, so now we have the uh, mandible. Let's see if that's a little bit better. Okay, so now I finished, uh, well I haven't completely finished, but I'm running out of wire. So typically we would do, I mean you don't want these things to fall off, so typically every second tooth or every tooth, just to make sure that this is going to be, uh, I mean they're going to have this in for six, up to six weeks. So what we're going to do is we'll take, we've, I've clipped the wires, and now we're going to make rosettes. You can use a pickle fork. I've blogged about that before. I don't have one at home. So I'm just going to take this and spin these. Something like that. So we're going to do that to all of them. Just make a little rosette so it's not poking. And we actually have some length to the wire if we need to adjust it or when we take these off. Okay, so I made my rosettes, and again, we'd have more, a few more uh, wires uh, stabilizing this arch. You know, honestly, these are a pair of wine guards. These are ortho pliers. And if you have access to these, these make making rosettes much easier. Even I think even easier than a pickle fork because they're used for uh, placing the wires. Okay, so we've got. Let me just double check that these are stable. Yeah, fairly stable. And now we're going to take our fish loop. Okay, so now we have our fish loops and everything's stable. These folks are going to be in this, be in this for approximately six to six weeks. So they, we need to make sure that, in addition to that, this is stable. If they don't, if um, open reduction is not going to be uh, completed. So that may be the next step. That um, they're sent, and they're also sent home with uh, scissors, pliers, or wire cutters. So we typically place this around two or three on each. And have this coming out the out the anterior portion. There you go. Make sure that the occlusion is set properly. Make sure that they're 
biting exactly, and it may take a little bit to to confirm. Okay, we're gonna start that one. Okay, that's that one. I'll put this one on. Okay, so I just finished placing the uh, the other side of the fish loops, and now we're going to uh, wire the jaw shut. Luckily that just broke there, so let's see, you get the patient to, well it's going to be tough, they might be sedated, try to get them to move, and you can move just a little bit, and over time they are going to uh, open this up, uh, stretch the wires. So some folks advocate stretching the wires before you start, just so it gets that slack out of there. You can see as I tighten this, I can bend that. So. So I fractured that one. Probably will redo that one. That'll break, definitely. Take that off. So that one will get redone. This one's okay. And this guy here. Broke it too, okay. So that tells you that. Okay, so we're gonna try that one more time now. Just after I tighten that so it's critical, and this is a great learning point that you do have to do each tooth. Because look, after I tighten that down, it's already loose. So for demonstration purposes only, we're just gonna continue. So this is making that fish loop. Place uh, two to three wires on each uh, arch bar. And you can see how that's pulling up, which is fine as long as it doesn't slip. Okay, so we cut that and then tie that off and I don't have on that side so that gives you an idea what you need to do so the learning points again are make sure you get every tooth for um, placing the uh, embrasure wire <clears throat> to lock on to the the Eric arch bar and then make sure everything's tight because once this starts moving things are going to start shifting <clears throat> alright hope that helps Cheers.